Hello again and welcome. I thought I'd show you what I'm currently working on for the light VNA. Again, I'm going to refer to this VNA Applications Handbook. This was written by Bonaguide and Jarvis. This book provides a lot of basic background on VNAs. I'd highly recommend it if you're just getting started. So I'm currently on page 349 and we're looking at section 10.1.3.10. VNAs do not have the ability to source digital signals nor analyze them. So in order to generate an eye diagram, the bit transition needs to be calculated rather than measured. This function is provided by most major VNA manufacturers. So using a VNA to generate the eye diagram involves three steps. Step one, measure the S parameters to get the frequency response. Step two, Perform an inverse FFT on the measured response to calculate the time domain response. Step 3. Calculate the eye diagram by convolving the time domain response with the predefined pseudorandom bit sequence. The pseudorandom bit sequence is typically an ideal bit stream. So I spent some time today putting together a simple little program to demonstrate how this might work. So let me get that set up on the PC and we can go over that. This is looking at my test software. So for starts I took my light VNA and I connected up my 70 millimeter Beatty standard and then I took a measurement of that. You can see that in the top center graph where we see the step and the impulse waveforms. Now this is a 50 ohm system so normally we'd be multiplying this by 50. The next step we need to generate some data. So that's what I'm doing down here. This is my serial data. Currently I have five data points per bit and then I'm generating a total of 100 data bits. Let's just go ahead and increase this to 200. And in the center window we can see the data bits here, but you can also see that we're unable to generate a lock. So this white square wave is our phase lock loop. Again, this is all synthesized in software. So let's go ahead and we'll increase the bit width to 6. And you can see now it's starting to obtain a lock. Here we are at 7, 8, 9, 10, and now we can see our eye diagram. Let's just zoom into this a little bit. Again, we'll turn off the horizontal auto scale. So here we can see how the phase lock loop is working. If we wanted to generate a more complex waveform, I can also select PAM4. Let's go ahead and do that. Now we have four discrete voltages. Let's go ahead now and we'll increase our number of random bits to 2,000. And you can see our eye is quite small. We can open up that eye diagram by increasing the number of samples per bit. So let's just bump this up to 20. So currently the scaling on all this is basically meaningless. My plan for now is to continue to develop this feature just on the standalone program. But eventually what I'd like to do is roll this into my solver software. And again, that will be available for the light VNA as well as the V2 Plus 4. If you're interested in more details about how the eye diagram works, there are a few papers available that I found online. I'll post a link in the description to the EV blog site where I've posted that information. Well, that's going to be all for now. We'll see you in the next video. Later.